The gear ratio of this gearbox is over 65,000 to 1. It's easy to spin the first gear, but can we spin the last gear? In this video, we'll find out if it's possible or not and why. So basically we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four to one gear ratio pairs. For the yellow gear to rotate once, the red gear has to rotate four times. For the second yellow gear to rotate once, the red gear has to spin 16 times. For the blue gear to rotate once, the red gear has to spin 64 times. We can keep going all the way up until we hit four to the eighth power. And that'll give us an official gear ratio of 65,536 to one. As you can see here, it's really easy to spin the first gear. If I go to the third gear, it's still pretty easy. If I go to the fifth gear, it starts to get a little bit more difficult to get the gears to spin. And if I try to move this blue gear, it's nearly impossible. But why? This is because torque is greatly multiplied in this system. So torque follows the same proportions as the gear ratio. So one foot pound or one Newton meter of torque at the input would equal 65,536 foot pounds or Newton meters at the output. So it basically means that if this gearbox was strong enough, it would be super easy to use the gearbox to lift an entire fully loaded semi or big rig. However, this works against us in reverse. Let's go back to answering the question of why it's so hard to spin the last gear. Quick disclaimer, I will be using mass instead of force in this example just because mass is a little bit easier to visualize. Imagine placing an object of a certain mass on the edge of the gear. That will give us our force. Let's say we could get this first gear spinning with an object that weighs 30 grams or one ounce. Here's an ounce of silver to help you visualize what an ounce is or 30 grams. That means for the second gear, it'll take an object with a mass of 120 grams or four ounces. And once again, we multiply by four all the way down the line of gears. So in this example, to get that last gear to spin, I'll have to use the weight of an entire SUV, truck, or van. So as you can see, in this system, everything exponentially increases as you go down the line of gears. I use that 30 grams or the one ounce to represent the friction on the first gear. So the reason it's so difficult to spin the last gear is because the force required to spin the gear increases by a multiple of four with every gear that you add to the system. So in this case, it's impossible for me to spin the last gear without breaking the gearbox. Yes, this is a vast oversimplification of this system, but I described it this way so that way it's really easy to grasp it and understand kind of what's going on. So excuse my wording that I use to describe certain physics terms. If you want to support 3D Printer Academy so I can make more of these videos, you could buy this exact gearbox that I used in the video, and I will be signing and dating it just for fun. If you're watching this video a while after I posted it, most likely this gearbox is already sold, but you could download the files on my website for free so you could 3D print it yourself. If you like these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I have a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope it was interesting and happy printing.